I think uh, the, the uh, case that I can give you an example of that uh, where we use the respiratory panel most effectively was a child uh, that was being brought by their parents from another emergency department uh, that the family was very concerned because this child had been ill for a fairly long time or at least a four or five days and not getting much better. And they had had lots of tests done already, uh, as well as images by the, uh, imaging by the other hospital uh, with no real diagnosis made. Uh, and, and so they drove quite a distance just to come kind of to our institution to try a different doctor, a different set of doctors. And uh, after we did the biofire testing of the respiratory panel, we were able to give them a very specific answer of what exactly was going on and why this, this virus may have a prolonged course. And, and so they were much more comfortable with that decision and plan of going home, expecting it to last a few more weeks uh, and to, you know, what they can do at home to help support the child without uh, having that fear that something was being missed the whole time. Uh, and, and oftentimes we have patients in exactly that same scenario where they're really just fearful of what might be being missed, uh, that we're able to uh, change that mindset if we're able to tell them exactly what they have. most recent cases I had uh, where it definitely changed which direction we went with the patient was uh, in a, about a 45 day old child who came with a fever. We classically, our, our algorithm is to get blood, urine, c CSF fluid, uh, and respiratory panel and an x-ray to look for the source of uh, any infection and admit them to the hospital and they get two, two days of antibiotics waiting for culture results. Luckily in this case we were able to do the biofire testing and find out that exactly what type of, uh, and, and this child had meningitis after we did this uh, lumbar puncture. We realized meningitis was going to be the diagnosis, but we were able to isolate it to enterovirus specifically, and the child was looking really well and was able to be uh, observed in the ER for uh, a day and basically be sent home instead of going upstairs to the pediatric uh, floor and being exposed to other ill kids as well.